Hey guys, Clyde here, live from the Leechburg Light Studio. We're working out here in the shop today, and uh, I come home from work just a little bit ago and saw this package on my uh, front porch, and uh, I started opening it up here. Let's see what we got. Figured I'd get the camera ready, because, you know, everybody always likes to see the boxes get opened up. Of course, you know, they take the heck out of these. Let's see what we got in All here. Right. Um... Looks like we got probably a simple instructions sheet of some sort. Um, yes, 100% in Chinese. Can't even read it. So let's move on. Nice, nice little simple bag there. And let's see what we got. This looks like our uh, um, offshore uh, imported DMX bridge. And we'll take a look at this piece by piece because this is definitely a brand new unit. I don't think anybody has uh, picked any of these up and made a video on it yet. So let's see what we got here first. It doesn't look like there's any instructions to it whatsoever. But I see we have what appears to be a XLR connector, three pin, and that's the standard for the lighting hobby. Um, well, actually, the lighting uh, uh, craft, but for the hobby, we use the uh, RJ45s. And there's four sets of these. This looks like it is a power adapter for a foreign uh, or overseas uh, power plate. We use a 110. It looks like we got here a power supply. It looks like it is... Uh, 5 volt DC, 1,000 milliamps, and uh, we have a Ethernet cable here, looks like. And of course, our final piece, which is our uh, RJ45 DMX, or actually the RJ45 connector there. You can see there's two indicators to tell whether there is data coming from the unit. This is listed as a Ethernet RJ45 input multicast format, so it's automatically going to be multicast, whatever selection we desire to put this on. And it shows we have, uh, uh, let's see, it says web DMX mode reset. I don't know if those are buttons. Oh, those are actual reset button. That's a reset button, and this changes the mode. The initial IP setup is 192.168.1.206. That sounds like a pretty standard uh, IP address setting. So there are some different uh, LEDs on here that give uh, different information to kind of show you what's going on. There is a DMX light here. You can see the DMX light flashing. That means that right now, uh, and I have not cracker open, that I have output to lights checked and that there is an active uh, sequence that's uh, able to run right now. So this is waiting for DMX signal and there in turn is sending it out over here to this controller. I'll go ahead and scan over there. You can see that I have uh, the little green light here is showing the status of DMX signal being received. The red is for power and then um, this is the the uh, 30 channel dumb RGB controller. This uh, ran for uh, under 40 bucks. Uh, the bridge, which I haven't mentioned, the bridge here ran for uh, $88.88 shipped. Um, took roughly 13 or 14, maybe even 15 days. I don't what we see here is a very, very simple. Uh, command line and using the instruction packet that comes with the data on the disk it will tell you exactly how to go in make configuration changes so that your output number one on this on this uh, DMX adapter is going to change from uh, from universe one to say universe 17 or say universe the other 15. thing I'll show you is uh, you know this this uh, this pretty thorough uh, manual. It has 13 pages. It's got a lot of good information. It shows everything that comes with it. It shows how to create your uh, 
uh, to create your IP address, save your IP address, change any of the settings in there. It does take some time. You're not going to get it on the first try, but it does take some practice. Um, I was able to have uh, relatively uh, everything I wanted to set up in it changed, and um, I'm pretty happy with this with this uh, output. But the true test was whenever I went over here and uh, I created a very short 20-second simple sequence uh, using a song here. This is my setup for my windows upstairs and the left window is one, two, three, four, five. Those are the first five channels in my DMX, uh, uh, in my DMX lineup in universe number one. I came over here and I set up this controller to be uh, universe number one, uh, channel number one. So the first two, I only have two sets of lights hooked up here, but this will kind of give you an idea that Everything's working as it should, and uh, I'm very happy. What I've done here is I've actually tested this controller. Uh, this controller has the RJ45s soldered onto the board. This was uh, this board here, the 30-channel board, did not have RJ45 connectors on them. Uh, I did have uh, have to install these myself. Uh, this is the original board I bought back in January, so this is really the first I've gotten to play with it since this bridge is now you know, arrived. Uh, I only set, like I said, have two sets of dumb RGBs. They are working fine. Uh, I ran through a couple other different color uh, sequences to make sure that the, that the channels all worked out correctly. And um, I also, in the background when nobody was, whenever I was between recording here, uh, I went ahead and uh, I tested this. I got two of these controllers. This is the same controller as that one. The only difference is, is this one's upgraded with the RJ45s. But um, I'm very happy with the board. I uh, am very happy with the uh, with the DMX bridge, and um, I'm glad that everything's worked out just fine. It did take me a little bit to learn and understand the setup, but I'm very pleased with it as it stands. So I think it's at eighty eight dollars and eighty eight cents. This is a pretty decent buy. Um, it might be a little bit more confusing for the new people who are coming on board. But I think that if you look at this total package, this 100% uh, package that you see in front of you, uh, you've got X lights on the computer over here to the left. It's a free program. It's able to output directly to this. Uh, there's no purchase necessary. Uh, you have a RGB uh, dumb controller for 40 bucks, so 88 and 40, so 90 and 40 bucks is is 130. Uh, you'll need a power supply. A computer power supply will work just fine. However, if you decide you, you want to run a lot of uh, dumb RGBs off of this, you're looking at you know another $25 or $30. I think you can find them on Amazon for 28 to 30 bucks now. And if you, you look at the, uh, the dumb RGB nodes, um, those are running for roughly 20 bucks a set of 100 right now. Uh, overall, you're looking at a very, very comfortable entry point to get started with free software from Nutcracker. You are looking at, I'm going to guess, you could do a very mild and standard display using dumb RGB for, let's say, 400 bucks. And uh, yes, you'll need some more network cable. Yes, you'll need some uh, boxes to set these in so they don't get wet. So you, you obviously have, you know, maybe another 50 bucks for for water protection and and more cords and you know and all the things that you want to do so uh if you if you're looking to get into the hobby this is a very uh a very inexpensive way to go about it